Yo, what's up? It's Jason. I'm back again with another video, and this is a big one. Uh, massive, massive amount of metal to show today. Uh, just got back from the metal meat market that was yesterday. I was one of the vendors there. Local market. Uh, this is the third year, actually, that they're putting it on. Huge, huge congrats to uh, the organizers. Uh, they did an amazing job, took care of us all. And uh, right here in Ottawa, amazing, amazing time. Bought a lot of stuff, traded a lot of stuff, sold some stuff as well. And uh, we'll get into all that. I got about four or five records to show. And then I got a ton of CDs, uh, maybe 15 CDs, five or six uh, cassettes to show. I got some stuff that came in the mail uh, from Caligari Records and uh and more so and i even got some live clips at the end of this video or somewhere in this video of uh the live show last night too because not only was there ottawa metal meat market during the day and then afterwards in the evening there was a concert of killer killer grind and death metal bands uh including uh u.s bass band organ trail and uh, toronto's human compost and uh and others so yeah it was it was a great day um i got lots to show why don't we start off with the vinyl i mostly picked up stuff that was kind of cheap uh maybe even a little bit tattered but great deals i couldn't pass up actually a couple of them that i think are maybe doubles that i already own but uh we'll get into that starting off with toronto bass band uh that i've been into since long long ago since the 80s uh, i have their debut album i'm a really big fan of this band but i never got the second album and uh, somebody was selling it at the at the market yesterday for only five bucks so i couldn't pass it up a little bit beaten up copy here uh but the vinyl actually is really quite good uh sudden impact second album this is split personality a canadian based uh thrash crossover band this is recorded in uh 87 at least in 88 on Diabolical Force and Fringe product. I love the stuff, everything pretty much that Fringe put out in the 80s. A lot of punk, hardcore, metal, all that good stuff. Uh, it was a great distro out of Toronto. And yeah, this record, it doesn't disappoint from uh, my first listen. Like I said, it was actually, actually not bad condition. So happy to get that in the collection. Now the next one is another double, or this is a double. Um, I have an older version of this an older pressing uh that is maybe a little bit better uh just because i'm not a fan of newer pressings but i couldn't pass this up it was pretty cheap too bottle surfer's first album uh and one of the non-metal records i'm going to show in today's video um psychic powerless another man's sack a classic by the b surfers i love all their early stuff first five six records are musts um right up to locust abortion technician and uh, stairway to heaven or Hairway to Steven. Those records are really good. This originally came out like Touch and Go. Now this is a reissue on their own label. Um, this one came out, I think, sometime in the 2000s. I'm told that the new, the latest reissues of these are on Matador and they're slightly censored, removed some tracks, etc., and probably remastered and all that kind of business going on. But um, this was kind of fun just to get a cheap copy. Uh, second copy. I'm kind of in between two places these days, so some of the doubles might go to the other other locations. Snagged a copy of this. Dirt Cheap as well. A classic. A uh, record that I grew up on back when I was like a toddler, feels like. But yeah, no, pre, uh, I guess in elementary school, listening to Quiet Riot and Twisted Sister and then Motorhead and Motley Crue and all those all those bands, all those hair bands, etc. This is a great classic album, Metal Health. Got this for only five bucks, so couldn't resist. This is post Randy Rhodes leaving over to uh, to Ozzy's uh, band, but quite right, it's always fun. Um, and I got some vinyl that came in the mail, but I'm gonna talk about that at the end or after I get through the metal meat market stuff and some merch that I bought at the show too. So um, why don't we pause here and show you a couple clips of the actual uh, market. So 
So next up, I've got, oh, one thing I forgot to show, actually. I, one other record that I got was a 7-inch. Did a trade for this one. This is a Cold Cave out of L.A. Um, again, a non-metal uh, pick from yesterday. There was lots of cool shit. I was selling, like, industrial goth stuff. In a way, experimental as well. Not just metal, but anything sort of dark and heavy. This one is Oceans with No End. It's one of uh, Cold Cave's many 7-inches. Uh, singles out there, and this is a, a variant that is a split blue. But yeah, um, Cold Cave does some really cool stuff. It's sort of synth wave, synth pop as well. Um, a little bit dystopian. You get a poster of them as well in this packaging. So, pretty cool overall. Seven. I think I've got some other sevens by them as well. That came out sometime in the 2010s. All right, next up, I have a mammoth amount of CDs to show uh, from from this uh, metal market. There's always there's stuff falling all over the place here. There's always a ton of CDs to pick up. Uh, usually some really good prices. Also some rare uh, collectible stuff too. That's a little pricier, but uh, as it should be because it's rare. Uh, I'll show you what I got. I mostly bought uh, stuff that was a deal. Including this Voivod Killing Technology, which I didn't have um, on vinyl or CD. I got the CD playing downstairs actually. Uh, this is a 2004 reissue on Sanctuary, and uh, there's the guys on the back. I'm more of a fan of the early Voivod up to and including this album. Uh, then I kind of lose interest with the more proggy stuff that they get into, but I like the earlier thrash stuff picked up this this is kind of a blind buy for me i mean i've i've seen this band many many times um you know in the wild uh, their releases i've never seen them live but evile uh uk band does more trad metal or some thrash as well i guess this is on earache so i'm looking forward to rocking this this is infected nations uh came out in 2009 it looks like i think it's like their second album if i recall now this is a total duplicate buy. I wasn't sure actually if I had, if I still had my copy of uh, Toxic Holocaust, An Overdose of Death, but uh, it's a killer record, so, and it was cheap, so I decided to get a second copy, so maybe I will send one out as VCLT at some point. This is on Relapse, kind of a one-man project, the Toxic Holocaust, I think out of Portland, I want to say, but um, picked up another Sodom CD, believe it or not, one that I didn't have. Uh, I mean, these guys, the catalog is, is pretty massive with these guys. Lots of, like, reissues and EPs and live recordings. This is a double-disc version of this album, which is called In War and Pieces. Came out 2010 on Steamhammer. So the first CD, I think, is the actual album, War and Peace, Pieces. And uh, the second CD is a live recording from Wacken in 2007. So... Pretty sweet overall. Definitely a Sodom fan. Love their stuff. Saw this. Uh, got this artillery CD. This is killer stuff here by Inheritance. Second or third album by these guys. I didn't have this reissue. Uh, nice one uh, done by Roadrunner Records and uh, Metal Mind Productions. Yeah, number two. I guess there's a limited of 2,000 copies of this. This is number 1,038 of artillery picked up this uh clash's second album been getting much more into this record in uh, recent times i got it on vinyl and uh first time i heard it actually i wasn't a huge fan uh but it's kind of grown on me a lot this is a 1999 looks like uh reissue of give them enough rope good album lots of solid tracks on there so and that was cheap as i say uh, next up we got Death and Human. I had not got a copy of this till now. This is the record after Symbolic, I think. Uh, for five bucks, why not? I will grab that. Uh, Century Media put this out. This is a 98 reissue, so not like super uber deluxe with like extra bonus tracks, just, uh, just the album, which is cool. I like that. Um, this was kind of a blind buy. I uh, got this from my buddy Isaac. He had a lot of stuff uh, for sale. I got a couple of things from him. This one 
I think we I think we did a tape trade for this. This is Asheron. Um, I think they're a U.S. band, but they're they're really uh, heavy, blackened death metal, uh, occultish. I guess uh, this was on Turbo Music and multiple other labels. This is an older pressing, actually, of uh, the CD. So, whoa! Looking forward to giving this uh, a spin. Asheron. First time I heard of them. Also got a Municipal Waste CD, because why not? Uh, Hazardous Mutation, second or third album by these guys. Uh, 2005 release on Earache Records. Municipal Waste, good. Crossover Thrash. Uh, then we got this interesting boot. Interesting boot split. This is Mayhem and Dark Throne. The true legends in black, because you want to make sure they're the true ones. Um, yeah, lots of cool tracks on here. Three by Dark Throne and like eight or something from Mayhem on this split. Like I said, it's kind of a boot. Uh, I think it's actually live recordings, perhaps. Demos, live recordings, something like that. On a, on a boot label just called Anti-Mosh Music. So there you go. And uh, last but not least of this pile, anyway, Hideous Divinity, still sealed copy, um, hype sticker says death metal onslaught relentless delivered with jaw dropping technical finesse I think I had this on vinyl or I, maybe I still do I'm a vinyl copy of this but uh, CD that was pretty cheap came out 2019 on Century Media I believe these guys are European I think they're Denmark maybe um, death metal alright that was a bunch of CDs then we went to the show. Got some more CDs at the show. Um, a couple of things I got. Well, one was the opening act, which unfortunately I, I missed their set this time, but they're uh, a band to not be missed, really, because uh put on one hell of a performance. I got HPV's CD. This is totally sick. Uh, ensuring Our Place in Hell. Um, Self-release demo probably recorded actually um i think recorded by Topon. on yeah um there's the, the boys right there doing their thing so yeah hpv killer grindcore really fun stuff local band and then uh the band from out of town uh got one of their cds this is an organ trail i guess this is their debut and it looks kind of like uh let's open this thing up it looks kind of like a uh, self-release demo style, professional demo, um, not picked up yet by the label, yeah, here, these guys were killer, um, I feel like there were four piece, this, this says a, a trio on this, but I feel like there were four piece, I don't know, I guess I'll try the, check out the video montage, but, uh, the vocals were really, uh, pretty unique, a really wide range of, of vocal range in there. U.S. based and organ trail appetite for dissection killer CD so I will pause the video now and show you guys some live clips come back I got some tapes to show and some more vinyl that came in the mail a huge metal rundown <laughs>
I'm still here, and uh, I've got, I still got more shit to show. Man, where do I go to next? All right, how about another CD? This came in the mail. Uh, I haven't rocked this yet. Just, just got this. It's super fresh out the box. I think it just released this month, maybe. It's the latest one by Full of Hell. Crazy fusion type band, uh, fusion of noise and more noise, basically. Uh, hardcore to death metal to noise core. Uh, they do it all. Sometimes short songs, sometimes uh, experimental passages, etc. There's 12 tracks on this one. Came with a slip case. Kind of never know what to do with those, but I'll need it because the slip case has the info on the back, and this doesn't have anything on the back. Uh, there's another version of the cover. So yeah, latest full of hell. And it was an Amazon thing, so of course that snapped immediately. But uh, newest CD by Full of Hell. Gonna rock that. And then also came in the mail. I had a package from um, Caligari. Caligari Records. They sent a bunch of postcards as well as cassette that I picked up. This is um, Blood Oath. Uh, I like how these, these cards actually kind of are not just Caligari Records but other labels too. I get in on it. This one I think I got on cassette. Sticker. Recent logo. Uh, look at this one here. Pearl Enzi's demo. Yeah, basically I ordered a bunch of stuff, three cassettes off of their band camp. And uh, these are the ones. Torturer's Lobby. Dead Nerves. This looks super cool. I haven't even opened these up yet. Um, Maybe I, maybe I won't. <laughs> this video is going to be 100, 100 hours long, but uh, there we go. Just like opening a little pack of smokes, right? So, yeah, this is what the tape case look, the tape looks like. Pretty sick. And here is the fold-out J-card as well. Excellent. Uh, I mean, if you grew up on heavy metal tapes, uh, how could you not want some more, some newer stuff? Uh, and this label totally does it up well. Caligari Records. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, also got a tape copy of Grotesqueries. This was in my top 10 last year for best release, 2023. I got the CD um, version. So now I've got it on cassette. All I'm missing is the vinyl. I have a perfect trifecta. Here we go. These guys out of Boston, Mass, I think. A blue shell here. Nice pad printing on there. Vile ceremony. Vile uh, crematory, sorry. And uh, here's the J curve as well. Yeah, grotesque grease. Lyrics are inside. If you have a magnifying glass. Um, yeah. Killer, killer death metal. One of my faves last year for sure. And uh, the third and last one in the package. But I, I do have another Caligari Records to set to show. So I got some tapes yesterday at the Metal Meat Market as well. This is... Uh... Per perishing? Perishing? Not sure that's how you spell perishing, but Ludum. Here you go. On Calgary Records. Black shell this time. Picture of the lads inside. Very cool. So yeah, there's the regular logo. And uh, killer label out of the States for cassettes. Um, they do tape distro as well, I think. Lots of awesome shit. Um, so I was just looking for the catalog number. This one is 204. And um, this was 211. Um, I'm going to go way back here in time to Caligari 148. I also got a copy of this. Bone Sickness uh, at the sale yesterday in the market. So this was really cool. 
um, the tape trade and it's on green shell but check out the length of tape on that it is pretty pretty small uh, length <laughs> compared to this many tracks uh, so this is a grind slash death metal uh, project and uh, a really good one too bone sickness theater of morbidity uh, really short songs obviously with that kind of length of tape so this is Caligari 148 and then a couple records to show still before I get into that just quickly some more tapes that I got yesterday I got Chemicide it looks like again because I think I have a copy of this already so that will be a second, second copy um, I got this Overkill uh, 1990s 94 release by Overkill never had I've never really heard it actually uh, this is WFO and this was an interesting one. Um, get this from Isaac as well. This is Harsh Supplement Kitchen Noise Core Session. Now, I think I have them on a compilation, uh, Ottawa local band, and uh, total noise core, noisy stuff. Uh, Discogs has quite a bit of stuff by them, but not this release. So this is maybe an unofficial demo or something. I never made it to Discogs yet on uh, Stockroom Records, number 4 of 40. Harsh Supplement. Noise Core Grind. Uh, and uh, an old school band here, Sword. This is from 86, I think. Got the over, over flap edition. Pick that up, metalized. Never had any sword couple of black metal projects too that I got in, in a tape trade these are just local local um, local guy I think they're all one man projects I got this tort uh, I think he said that he sings in Spanish on this one um, came in an all black cassette case so, no, this is not the Metallica Black album, but it is some black metal. Surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> with, that, with that black album, that was a tape case. All right. Finishing things off, we're just going to go out here with a bang. I got two metal records to show. Amazon pickups. Um, band I never heard of before, but I probably saw it on the VC somewhere, in the metal VC. They got this Hex. Two X's, right? Hex, Morbid Reality, uh, really killer record. This is like from 1990, 1991, Bay Area Thrashers, um, who kind of lean towards tech death. I mean, it gets super technical on here. Loads of bass work on here. Some jazz elements almost. Um, jazz, jazz like playing. This is a reissue that came out on Spart. Um, I think is Finland label but yeah really killer record and uh black vinyl thank god so yeah i've already given that a couple spins it's wicked and i got a copy of this on vinyl too free issues again but you know if i was able to get the ogs then i definitely would get the ogs but for now these will be placeholders i actually have the reissue cd of this already and uh early death metal kind of kind of crust kind of thrash into uh, Grind and Death, uh, Prophecy of Doom. Really cool record as well. This is a peaceful thing. So not a lot inside. It's just, it's got this. It's got some text and some lyrics. So yeah, that is my massive, massive metal meltdown. Uh, no, a huge pile of metal to go through and listen to. Uh, I'm just... I'm going to work my way through it all. It was a killer uh, market yesterday. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of good trades and uh, some good pickups as well. One programming note. I'm hoping to do a live stream soon, perhaps tonight, with Wilson, who is also at the metal, metal uh, meat market. And uh, we'll find out what kind of stuff he picked up as well. His thoughts on the day. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.